Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting a new series on tips and tricks for Power BI on top of Databricks. Have you noticed there are two different connectors in Power BI for Databricks? What's the difference between them? We'll go through these in this video. I'm in Power BI desktop right now and I opened Get Data window. If I type in Databricks, you can see two different connectors. One is Azure Databricks. The other is Databricks bracket beta. And some customer asked me if Databricks is actually developing a new connector. That's why it's called data. That's not the case. And some people think if you're using Azure Databricks, uh, you should use Azure Databricks connector. If you're using it on AWS, you should use beta, which is broadly correct, but that's not the precise difference between the two. So if we open both, you will see the difference. So I put in my server host name and HTTP pass, and this is the Azure Databricks connector. You can see it's got username, password, a uh, personal access token, which is typically called PET, and Azure Active Directory. And this is the difference. The OAuth mechanism in the Azure Databricks connector is default to Azure Active Directory. If you're using username and passwords or PAT token and you're using Databricks in AWS, you can still use the Azure Databricks connector. These mechanisms make no difference for Power BI Databricks connectivity, but the OAuth makes a difference. And the Power Query data source only allows one OAuth mechanism for each connector. This is why for Azure Databricks, we have the Azure Active Directory as the OAuth mechanism, whereas we flip over to the Databricks connector, you will see OAuth, OIDC, as a mechanism. This is because a lot of people on, on AWS is using a different OAuth mechanism other than AAD, and this is why we have a second connector. So to repeat, if you're using username, password, or pets, you can use either connector that makes no difference. But if you're using Azure Active Directory on Azure, you should use the Azure Databricks connector. If you're using other OAuth mechanism in AWS, then you should use the Databricks connector. Hope it's helpful. See you in the next video.